Growing up can be a boring business. Barn owls take a long time to mature. Their young spend up to ten weeks in the nest, twice as long as the tawny owl chicks. It's good to have a varied diet. This time it's a shrew. Barn owls are the only ones that eat shrews, reducing competition with the other owls. It's early summer, the nights are getting shorter. The little owl family is growing, getting hungrier by the day. No longer content with waiting inside the oak tree, from now on they will doorstep their parents for a meal. Warm, wet nights are perfect for finding a good supply of earthworms. They're everywhere, which is just as well. The oak tree brood has close competition from a rival clan of little owls in the farmyard, the Hole in the Wall gang. All owls are wary of each other. Conflict is uncommon. But being the smallest, it pays to be careful. Where there is plenty of prey, little owls can nest surprisingly close to each other. The rival brood has nested in an old wall close to the farmhouse. Lighting around the farmyard attracts many moths and other insects all good fodder for the little owl. Of all five owls, the little owl is the most adventurous. Over the last century and a half, they've colonised nearly all the English lowlands and still seem to be doing well. In contrast, the barn owl has become increasingly rare over the last 50 years. But in this family, with just two offspring and a plentiful supply of food, both stand a good chance of survival. Growing well, they are now able to swallow their food whole and developing the feathered face that is the mark of an owl. 